Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my... Oh! 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 Mail call for Mr. Krabs. What's this? More junk mail. Let me guess. Free tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Why don't you give them the moron back there for being employee of the year? SpongeBob? Yes, Mr. Krabs. Here's two free. I mean, very valuable tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Gee, thanks, Mr. Krabs. You must have spent a fortune on these. Mm. Let me tell Patrick. <laughs> thanks again. Hmm. I know I am, but what are you? Hey, Patrick. SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob. I'm behind you, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob! Mr. Krabs gave us two free tickets to Neptune's Paradise! Neptune's Paradise? You go home and get ready, and we'll meet up later after work. <laughs> I'd better wash this before giving it to anybody. Hello, faithful customer. What do you gotta do to get some service around here? I'm sorry, sir. Was there a problem with your order? I haven't even been served yet. What's the big holdup? I'm terribly sorry, sir. What did you order again? A Krabby Patty, and I'm starving. I'll fix you one right up, mister. Guess who's going to Neptune's Paradise? That's nice. I just came back from there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, well then maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find out how to get there. Do you know a way? Yes, ask me nicely. Okay. Could you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise, please? Nope. Why not? Because I'm starving. Fix me a Krabby Patty and maybe I'll tell ya. Well, I gotta go. Bye! Hello? Mr. Krabs? Are you in there? 20, 21, 24... Arr! Shiver me timbers, boy! You made me lose count! Thanks again for the tickets, Mr. Krabs! Patrick was so excited, I thought he was gonna throw up! Hey, great, boy! Why don't you get going now? I need to get down to the barge in Mart. I'm having a rummage sale. Mr. Krabs, do you know how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Army boy, you want me to tie your shoes for you too? I don't know where the place is. Figure it out for yourself. I have to go. Mr. Krabs, don't you think the employee of the year deserves a raise? Hey, uh, a raise? But I, I speak English, boy. Ah, oh, Mr. Krabs, you are too funny. Yeah, well, I'm also too busy. Now leave me be. Hey there, Squidward, old pal. What do you want, SpongeBob? I got named Employee of the Year, and Mr. Krabs gave me tickets to Neptune's Pacific Paradise as a reward. What do you think about that? SpongeBob, I think you finally lost it. Hey, Squidward, there's a hungry-looking customer over there. Shouldn't you do something about it? I have no interest in that. But I need to get to Neptune's Paradise. Could you please take care of that customer for me? <laughs> Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. Oh, tartar sauce! This door seems to be locked. Mm -mm. Hey there, Squidward old pal! What do you want, SpongeBob? Say, the kitchen's looking really clean, isn't it? Is that what you called me over here for? Is there an order up or something? Nope, I just like talking to you. Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. <laughs>
Okay, Squidward, sorry. Yeah, yeah. A Krabby Patty! A Krabby Patty! Here you go, sir. One delicious and a slightly nutritious Krabby Patty! Now, can you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Yes. Uh, well, how? There's a bus stop downtown where you can catch a bus to Neptune's Paradise every day. Now leave me alone. I'm eating. This is downtown Bikini Bottom. Hey, Patrick, where'd you get that sweet camera? I won first place in the annual Bikini Bottom Bikini Contest, and this was the prize. Patrick, you won a bikini contest? Well, I was the only male contestant, but the judges said I had the most unique figure. Hey, Patrick, you wouldn't happen to have any bus tokens, would you? Uh, no, SpongeBob, I don't have any. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Patrick. I'll find us a couple somehow. Great! I'll save our place in line. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm stumped, Patrick. Do you know where I could find any bus tokens? Just buy them. Patrick, you know we don't have any money. Oh, well, then just go find some buried treasure. Buried treasure? How am I gonna find buried treasure? Well, I heard the Flying Dutchman buried some treasure near Goo Lagoon. Maybe you could talk to someone over there. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a long shot, but I might as well give it a try. Hey, Patrick. I like your hat. Yeah, it's the newest style. I'm keeping it real. I'll be back, Patrick. I'll be here. Hi, what you looking at? Pretty jewelry. Yeah, it is. They got lots of nice stuff here. By the way, I'm SpongeBob. What's your name? Pretty jewelry. Right. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to your insane mutterings. Pretty jewelry. Hello, nice place you've got here. You think so? Yeah, it's real pretty. Are you yanking my chain? No, I love it. Wow, that's really great to hear. Thanks. Just for that, I want you to have this videotape. It's priceless, much like the compliment you just paid me. I can never thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Never look a gift seahorse in the mouth, that's what I always say. Goo the goon. There is nothing like being at the ocean, except being under the ocean. Look at him go. He's probably preparing for his next movie. Hello, Larry. Hi there, SpongeBob. What you doing? I'm working on the biceps. They are the most important muscle group for impressing the ladies. You should try it someday, Skinny Bob SquarePanties. 
Say, Larry, are those your beach toys over there? Yeah, those are mine. Old Shovely and Mr. Pal. Do you think I could borrow them? No way, I love that shovel. And that pail. I'm getting all teary-eyed just thinking about them. woo -hoo! Look over there. A mermaid. And she's looking at you. Ooh, good thing I haven't fallen off my diet. Where? Hey, there's no mermaid. Hey, Larry, what can I do to get big and strong like you? Well, SpongeBob, it's not easy. First of all, you have to wake up each morning at 3 a.m. and go for a 10-mile run. Okay. Then you have to do five sets of exercises, isolating each muscle group. Ten repetitions each. It's gonna hurt. Piece of cake. Finally, you gotta stop eating those fatty, crabby patties. What? That's crazy talk. Forget about it. See? It takes discipline. No Krabby Patties, huh? Don't you ever get tempted to cheat on that diet? Nah, the only thing I really miss are Grandma's homemade pies. Hmm, I sure wish I could eat those. Well, I better get going. Don't pull a muscle. Bye, SpongeBob. Try to break a sweat once in a while. Ah, our dear friend Mr. Krabs makes his way to the local bargain mart to make a little extra money on the side. He is such a card. He makes me laugh so. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, Grandma. It's me, your most favorite grandson. Oh, Patrick, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. Patrick? No, it's me, SpongeBob. Oh. How has your day been, Grandma? Oh, it's so much nicer now that my puffy, lumpy Patrick has come to visit me. Grandma, I'm not Patrick. I'm... Oh, never mind. What are you baking, Grandma? It's your favorite. Urchin chip pie. But I just ran out of urchin chips. I'm so sorry, Patrick. I could run to the store and get you some urchin chips. Oh, don't bother, dear. I'll just feed them to the seagulls later. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, really, it's no trouble, Grandma. Well, if you're absolutely sure, just promise me you'll be careful. I will. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Guess what, Grandma? I won tickets to go to Neptune's Paradise for being Employee of the Year! Patty Cakes, I knew you had turned into a good little grown-up. I am so proud of you. I gotta get going, Grandma, but I'll come back to see you soon. Okay, Patrick, be careful. Hi there. I don't mean to be nosy, but your clothes seem a little big for you. Yeah, I know. I gotta have them altered. I just bought them. From who? They look sort of familiar. From Mr. Krabs. He let me have them for a steal. He's in the bargain mart, selling all kinds of stuff. So if you're wearing Mr. Krabs' clothes, what is he wearing? You don't want to know. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. Oh. Bye. Welcome to the Barchin Mart. Do you carry urchin chips? Urchin chips? We sure do. Yep. How much are they? I don't know. A lot. Oh. Well, I don't have any money. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, well. No urchin chips for you. No, oh, but I really need those urchin chips. Isn't there anything I can do to get them? Hmm. I'll tell you what. If you wash my boat for me, I'll pay for your urchin chips. Well, I guess that sounds fair. But where's your boat parked? Right out front. Oh, and, and please don't forget to wash the white walls. Okay, sure, no problem. Hi. Welcome to the Barton Mart. Wow, 
working at the bargain mart must be so much fun. Yeah, it's a hoot. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. And I mean that, really. I can imagine. I work at the Krusty Krab myself, and I can't wait to get to work every day. I can somehow sense that about you. I'm going to Neptune's paradise. Cool, huh? It beats standing here listening to that big red guy in the back hawking his junk, but just barely. Well, I enjoy talking to you. Well, that makes one of us. Hey there, Mr. Krabs. Hello there, me boy. What are you doing at the bargain mart, Mr. Krabs? Moonlighting. Money, money, money. Moonlighting? What's that? I'm trying to make a few dollars selling some old junk. Now, why aren't you on your way to Neptune's Paradise? I am. I have to take care of a few things first. I might be up late. Is it okay if I come into work a little late tomorrow? What? You know I can't stand tardiness. Maybe I should have made Squidward Employee of the Year instead of you. No, no, <laughs> no! I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. I'll be at work right on time. Don't you worry about it. Good. Now get going. You're scaring away me business. Absolutely, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Hello again, Mr. Krabs. Always a pleasure, loyal employee. Uh, money, Mr. Money, Krabs, money. what happened to your uh, clothes? Sold them. Yes, sir. Someone with a keen eye for fashion made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But you're naked. Money, 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 money. Well, I better get on my way. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Money, money, money. Mr. Krabs, can I borrow this old cooking oil? Take it! Pearl convinced me to switch to some new low-fat oil type substance. You spray it on. Now, who would have thought of that? And Mark. All done. She's all sparkly and clean. Great. You're okay. Go grab yourself some merchant ships. They're in the back aisle. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the Barch and Mark. I enjoy talking to you. Well, that makes one of us. me smile, Patty Waddy. I got the urchin chips. That's wonderful, Patty Poo. This pie is so plain without them. I'm not allowed. My trainer would get mad. Mm, there's nothing like Grandma's homemade pie. Still warm from the oven. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Um, okay, let me have it. Mm. 
look at what you've done to me. I've got love handles. I can't talk to you. I've got to take a jog down the beach. It's a beautiful sunny day. Well, I have sensitive skin. It's very delicate, but it is a beautiful day indeed. Wow, you sure do talk funny. Where are you from? I'm from the English Channel. It's a beautiful place. You'd like it, I'm quite sure. The water is much warmer here in the Pacific, but you know what they say. It's not the heat that gets you, it's the salinity. Yeah, <laughs> so what brings you to Bikini Bottom? The beautiful beaches, the charming townsfolk, and the legends of buried pirate treasure. I find it all so quaint, but oh, the heat is overwhelming. Did you say buried treasure? What buried treasure? Why, the Flying Dutchman's buried treasure, of course. Legend has it the Flying Dutchman buried his most precious treasure on the shores of Goo Lagoon. I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. Where did you say that buried treasure was again? From what I've been told, I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. Well, I guess I should be going. It was nice <laughs> talking to you. A tally ho. Indeed. I thoroughly enjoyed our banter. Ta ta. What a ripoff. I think game developers need bigger budgets to avoid this sort of thing. Hey, this isn't a tanning salon, it's a beach. Hi! Right back at you. Wow, you sure are tan. Yes, I certainly am. But what else would you expect, man? I own the salon. I must set a good example for all my peach brothers and sisters. Salon? What salon? Isn't this a beach? No! Well, uh, yeah. But it's more than just a beach. It's a holistic and organic tanning experience, man. We don't just tan your skin, we tan your soul. Oh, I'm not so sure I want my soul tan. <clears throat> just looking at you, I can tell you really need to get your soul out into the sun more often. It's very pale and spotty. I think it's breaking out in a rash, man. Oh, my soul has a rash? Yeah, it's all icky. Gross, man. Really gross. Can I borrow your sunscreen? I don't think it's working for you. That's because I don't use it anymore. I have reached the limits of natural tanning, the so-called Hamilton Horizon. I don't need to block any of the sun's rays. If anything, I need to amplify them. Amplify the sun! Hey, why don't you just cover yourself in cooking oil? Say, that's not a bad idea. You think you could get me some? I'll trade you the sunscreen for it. Deal. Oh well, I'll leave you to your frying. Thanks, dude. Later. One bottle of cooking oil as per your request. All right, dude. This is going to be great. Soon I'll be nice and flaky. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you're pretty flaky already. <clears throat> So, can I have the sunscreen now? Sure, kid. Here you go. Now leave me alone. I got some broiling to do. Wow! Fish that cook themselves. What'll they think of next? Wow! Pretty lady. Hi! I swear, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. You can't prove that. I was only saying hi. Oh, well, I'm busy. Busy doing nothing, that is. Okay, have fun. <clears throat> wow! I found it! A treasure chest full of bus tokens. Oh well, I better take a few for later. I am going to steal your soul. 
that your lily white liver. I am the flying Dutchman. I am going to steal your coat. Here you go, my lady. This sunscreen is industrial strength, SPF 100. Why, thank you, kind sir. So gallant. You may now borrow my parasol. Oh, well, actually, I wanted to borrow your umbrella. <laughs> you tickle my funny bone so. All right, here's your <laughs> umbrella. Use it in good health. Cheerio. Thank you, my lady. Sorry, I don't have time to talk. I'm late for a doctor's appointment. Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm kind of embarrassed to say. <laughs> oh, come on. I promise to keep it in the strictest confidence. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have salmonella. Oh. Well, don't let me keep ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Again, Patrick. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'll be back, Patrick. I'll be here. Here's a bus token, Patrick. Thanks, SpongeBob. See, I wonder where that bus driver is. Whoa, boy! I knew I shouldn't have eaten those burritos for breakfast. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Hi, kid. Where does the bus from here go? The bus goes to the ancient Mariner Valley, home to the magnificent Neptune's paradise, where happiness and merriment are the meat and potatoes of a festive diet of fun. Oh, yeah, a diet of fun. Can we get on board? We have our bus tokens. I'd love to say yes. Unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere in this weather. What are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. You'd like to believe that, wouldn't you? But look over there, that cloud is just waiting for me. W what if we get caught out in the rain? I, I don't even have an umbrella. No thanks, I think I'll just stay here. Hmm, if I get you an umbrella, then will you take us? I guess so. Where's the bus? It's getting washed. I'll get it when or if we ever leave. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Here's an umbrella, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Can we leave now? The wind is picking up. Can't you smell the coming storm? I, I don't know if it's safe. Besides, that's a parasol. Oh, please! I just gotta get to the park. I just gotta. Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yahoo! Neptune's paradise, here we come! I have a bad feeling about this. Enough! 
Enough! Get back up here in your seat and stop making so much noise. And that goes for you too, tough guy. Finally! Uh, looks like rain. I can barely see where I'm going. Uh, hold on, Whoa, everybody! Rage world! until the storm blows over. Um, Patrick, this doesn't look like Neptune's paradise. Uh-oh. Do I have to say it? Do you have to say what? I told you so. 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 Are you mad at me because of the storm? Yes, I didn't want to leave. I knew the storm was coming, but no. You and your childlike innocence, charming optimism. Feh. I'm sorry, Marty. I'll see what I can do to get this weather problem fixed. Yeah, well, whatever you do, leave me out of it. If the weather clears up, can we go? I can't make any promises. Why don't you check with the lady at the information counter? You watching TV? No, I'm knitting a sweater. Of course I'm watching TV. Chimps rolls. I'd sure like to be on that show one day. I, for one, have lots of faith in you. Okay, I gotta go. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix everything. And then we can get out of here. Forget it, SpongeBob. It's rock bottom. Chimps, armed monkeys on motorcycles. I'm glad I live underwater. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Can I help you, sir? Is this rock bottom? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. When is the next bus scheduled to leave this place? All buses leaving Rock Bottom have been canceled due to inclement weather. We appreciate your patience. But I need to get out of here. I'm going to Neptune's paradise. It doesn't look like it. Oh, tartar sauce. I'm new to Rock Bottom. Can you tell me anything about it? I'd be happy to tell you about all the little things our bug has to offer. Great. Thanks. If you would be so kind as to get me a snack. What am I, a delivery boy? I've been running errands all day. One kelp bar, please. And don't let it get mushy. Anybody else want anything? Please tell me now so I can get it all at once. Who are you talking to, weirdo? What a big voluptuous eye you have. All the better to roll at you, pipsqueak. What did you want me to get you again? A kelp bar. They're in the candy machine just outside. I get it myself, but the rain would ruin my mascara. I'll be back in a jiffy. I can hardly wait. I've got to go. I have to find some way to get out of this place. You can check out any time you'd like. But you can never leave. I think I see a quarter down there. I wonder how I can get it. Ah! Oops, <laughs> fell in. Well, at least I got the quarter. I have to put a quarter in the slot. Yeah. Hi! 
Hi. What are you doing? I'm waiting for the next bus. I need to get back to Bikini Bottom. Oh, well, I don't think there's going to be a bus for quite a while. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Say, don't I know you? Uh, no. Definitely not. I've never seen you before in my life. You're pretty, um, distinctive looking. I think I'd remember you. Hmm. Oh, well, you look familiar, but maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's probably it, SpongeBob. Say, if you've never seen me before, how did you know my name? Or, um, you just, uh, you look like a SpongeBob, that's all. Quit badgering me. Okay, okay, sorry. Nice can. Yep, Kelpsy. Great stuff. And the cans are very aerodynamic. Good for kicking. Can I have it? If I let you have this can, what would I do to pass the time waiting for the bus? You could talk to me. Look, no offense, little guy, but I'd rather watch paint dry. There's paint drying? Where? Where? I want to see. Oh, boy. What do you think about all this bad weather? You want to know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah, I've heard legends of a powerful weather wizard named Marlin who lives in Rock Bottom. And he's obviously upset about something, because look at all this rain. Wow, a weather wizard. Do you know where I could find him? Nope, nobody knows where he lives. But I, for one, ain't sticking around to see what other kind of problems he stirs up. I'm getting out of here. Well, gotta run. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that bus. Sorry I took your can. No problem. I hate you. I'm back. Oh, the excitement. What did you want me to- A kelp- I, I can ha- I've got you- <laughs> Yeah. Here's your kelp bar, lady. Mmm, kelp. Thank you. Alright, so what do you want to know? What's there to see here? Not much. There's a weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. Ooh, a weather station. Just what I need. Maybe they can tell me when this storm's gonna clear up. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. Thanks, bye! Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Welcome to WSCA. Unfortunately, we are preparing for a gala event. Everything is going wrong, and you are quite obviously not a repairman. So please come back tomorrow for a tour. Thank you. I'm not here for the tour. Well, what are you here for, then? I'm very busy. Oh, I just want to check things out. Sorry, you're not allowed. Nobody gets past me without station business. And as I don't see you carrying any tools, you clearly don't mean business. Have a nice day. You have a very nice desk. Yeah, great line, Romeo. You sure know how to woo a girl. I'll be back. I'll try not to get my hopes up. Ooh, Operation Krabby Patty. That was my very first game. <sighs> Good times. Good times. Hey! You can't go back there. You don't work here, and you aren't carrying any tools, so you aren't a repairman. Anyone with one eye can see that. Whoops! Sorry! Ah, look at the little Patrick. He is busy showing the mermaid man who can drink more cola. Life can be so wonderful, no? This door seems to be locked. Huh. Oops, 
Sorry. Hey, don't be so grabby. Oops, sorry. Hi, what you doing? Oh, hey there, little dude. I'm trying to fix this antenna. Ah, uh, looks hard. Yeah, well, you don't even know half of it. What makes this job really hard is that this antenna, it ain't even broken. Why would you fix something that isn't broken? I don't get it. Huh, neither do I. All I know is those big wigs in the TV station say this thing ain't working right, and it's my job to get it up on the curb again. And I say, whoa, there ain't nothing wrong with that antenna, dudes. And they say, yes, there is. And I say, no, there ain't. And they say, yes, there is. So now I'm stuck out here until I fix a perfectly good antenna. Bummer, man. Really flat day. Maybe you forgot to turn it on. Hey, man. I ain't that fried. Are those your tools? Is anything mine? I mean, what do you mean by mine? I don't own anything. Possessions just drag you down. Those tools are merely my temporary companions. I respect them, and they respect me. Oh, OK. Then can I respectfully borrow them? Jeez. I don't know, kid. The thought ain't sitting too well with me right now. Maybe because I'm so parched. I tell you what, bring me a Kelpsy and you can borrow my tools for a few. How's that, little dude? Copacetic? A Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the rusty anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. Oh well, I gotta go. Okay, later, dude. Mermaid man, you don't look so good. Who? Who did this to you? A great pink beast. He had eyes of fire and the belly of iron. Sounds like someone I know. Well, part of it does anyway. Iron, I tell you. Iron. I hear you. Mommy, Daddy. I want my whoopee. Uh. Mermaid man, are you gonna be okay? There's a blurring sky turning yellow. Uh, that's just me. To the bathroom! Wow, he's in bad shape. I wonder who could have done this to him. I've gotta go, but don't worry. I'm gonna get help. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer, too. Barnacle Boy, it's me, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, it's you. Look, uh, we're a little busy here. Uh, Mermaid Man bit off a little more than he could chew. Again. What happened? Maybe I could help. Oh, yeah. I have every confidence in your ability to take a bad situation and make it even worse. How sweet of you to say. Thank you. Come on, I know I can help. Just tell me what's wrong, please. All right, all right. It seems that Mermaid Man here can't hold his cola like he used to. Some yahoo challenged him to a cola drinking contest, and now he's got such bad gas he can't even stand up. Yeah. Where's your invisible boatmobile? Right behind him. I tried to lift him into it, but uh, seems I threw my back out dragging him this far. Maybe I can help you get Mermaid Man into the boatmobile. No offense, little guy. It'll take a lot more than our scrawny arms to get someone of his girth off the ground. Gotta go. I'll be back. I'll be holding my breath. I am underwater, after all. looks really big in this picture. Say, that looks just like Patrick. This door seems to be locked. That guy must have a brave dentist. 
Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yes, I seem to have a real knack for feng shui. Mm, well, I can't eat raw fish. It gives me a stomach ache. Thanks anyway. Well, eh, anyway, it's, it's amazing how some old cast in there could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. One tall, frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. We all tap out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while ago. They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Yuck. Well then, I guess that's gonna have to do. That'd be a dollar. You got a dollar? No, but I know where there's a whole treasure chest full of bus tokens. Sorry, kid. That don't fly in here. Pay up or pack up. That's our motto. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcharama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who can out-burp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow. He was that good, huh? He was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime, even if he is a little slow and pink. Pink, huh? Mm -hmm. Sir, my friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that kelpsy. Ah, I better help him out. I don't want him scaring off my customers. Say, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krab. Great, I'll be back. I always want to say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that diet cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. That keg is empty. Guess they used it for the burping contest. That keg is full of diet caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon to whisk. Okay, they're on their way back to Shady Shows. I hope Mermaid Man learned his lesson. Uh, say, thanks for watching the place. Thanks for the Diet Cola. Hi again. Hey there, little buddy. Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the Rusty Anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. Oh well, I gotta go. Okay, later, dude. Here you go, mister. Thanks, little guy. Hey, what's this? I asked for a Kelpsy. Oops, sorry, I forgot. I'll be right back. All I wanted was a Kelpsy. Here you go, mister. One, uh, Kelpsy. All right. Whoa, that was the best Kelpsy I ever had. Thanks, SpongeBob. So, now can I borrow your tools? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay. Great! With this toolbox, I might be able to pass as Jojo. Kalabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito with the antenna. Great! It's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, dudette. Good luck getting in there. Some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a spell on it. No one can open it now. Mmm, strange. I 
don't want to do that. Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall, and these louts can't even find me a cameraman. Ah, that's too bad. I'd offer to help out, but I don't know if Mr. Krabs would approve of me aiding the competition. Did I say commercial? Um, I meant public service announcement. Yes, I'm filming a public service announcement. Kids stay in school and all that. It's for the children. Oh, for the children. Well, why don't you say? Are you putting me on? Absolutely not. I'm trying to get the kiddies to see the value of a college education. It's my duty as a role model. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little extra something special for you too, my boy. Mm-hmm. Public service announcement. Little extra something special. Okay, you got a deal. What do I have to do? It's easy. I just need you to go in the next room and find the camera controls. Then just point the camera at me and start recording. I'll do the rest. Sounds easy enough. Okay, Plankton, I'm on it. Anything for the children. Yes, the children. <laughs> Poor sap. What was that? Uh, more tap. Yes, more tap. It's a lost art, tap dancing. We need to see more of it immediately. You know, I think you're right. So, Plankton? What do you think of Rock Bottom? Invertebrates? All of them! Can't stand the place, but at least there aren't many whales around. Oh, but I love whales! The way they glide gracefully through the water, leisurely gulping down millions of plankton... <laughs> yes, thank you. Gotta go, Plankton. See you later. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my diploma? I'll see you some other time, thanks. Bye! There, the camera is focused right on him. Okay, Plankton, action! Hi, this is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all-around swell guy. A lot of you may have noticed the Chum Bucket's rather numerous appearances on TV news programs recently. Not to mention the various headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come to you tonight to set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent! I would never dream of doing the things those bottom-feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Rest assured that the Chum Bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Eat at the Chum Bucket. Thank you and good evening. Hey, Plankton, that didn't sound like a public service announcement. Subtext! I was practically begging the children to stay in school! Well, if I didn't notice it, then probably most children won't either. Whose fault is that? Certainly not mine! I'm making public service announcements! Oh, and by the way, here's that little something extra. Ooh, thanks! Well, I must take my leave. I'd like to stick around and jabber, but lo! The day wears on and the chum bucket needs me. Okay. Bye, Plankton. See you around. you Gary Gulper, the weatherman? Why, yes I am. Aren't you lucky? Well, yeah. And that's not all. Really? Really. In addition to the pleasure of meeting me, I happen to be in an autograph signing mood. Will your luck never end? Oh, I hope not. But, uh, I didn't want an autograph. I wanted to ask you something. What? No autograph? Oh, well, you must already have several. What did you want to talk to me about? Can you tell me when this weather is going to clear up? I need to get out of this place as soon as possible. Wow, this really is your lucky day. 
Here at WSEA, we have just finished building a weather controlling thingamajig. Once we unveil it, the weather will always be clear in rock bottom. Ooh. Indeed! Think of the increased tourism and the increased fame for yours truly. Not that I'm not famous already, but then <laughs> you can never be too famous. I'm not sure I understand. If you built a device that controls the weather, well, then what does the station need you for? Well, uh, well, um, you see, uh, uh-oh. Why is there a guy out back working on the antenna? Ugh, oh, don't get me started. The Mega Screen 2000 has been acting up lately. It maps the weather around rock bottom with amazing accuracy, and yet, in the past few weeks, it's been giving us some very strange readings. It shows a zone of perfect weather that never changes. Never a drop of rain falls there. This is obviously impossible. It has to be broken. Are you sure it's broken? No. In fact, the repairman out there claims there's nothing wrong with any of our equipment. But what else could it be? Maybe it really is a perfect weather zone. Please. No, really. Can you show me where it is? It's up on the Mega Screen 2000. Take a look. It won't do you any good. It's just a glitch. I'm gonna check it out anyway, but thanks. Gary. What a great name. I have a pet snail named Gary. How nice for you. Do you know why the weather here has been so bad lately? Well, there are people who claim that a wizard named Marlin is behind it, but please. We are all adults here. Well, I am at least. Wizards? I don't think so. Wow! A wizard? Why would he churn up all this bad weather? If he existed, I mean. I don't know. Maybe he is threatened by our mighty weather-controlling thingamajig. I gotta go. It was nice meeting you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Oh, look! The zone of perfect weather seems to be centered around uh -oh. this cave. Ugh. The Mega Screen 2000. That must do something pretty neat. Um... Wow, the weather really is clear here. Something's up and I'm gonna find out what. Wow, I've always wanted to try one of these. I think I just had to pull the handle. I'm back where I started. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. This looks like some kind of wizard lair. I bet that Marlin up those stairs. Hey, what's Patrick doing here? <laughs> Patrick, Patrick. Oh, he's sleeping like a stone. He's supposed to under a stone, which would be typical. Are you Marlin the Wizard? I don't know. Are you Marlin the Wizard? Huh? 
If I were, why would I ask you if you were Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not Marlin! You are! Aha, so you are not Marlin. Well, I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What about that large pink boy sleeping in my hammock? Is he Marlin? No, that's my friend, Patrick. Well, if one of us must be Marlin, I guess it might as well be me. I can't say I'm too happy about it, though. Marlin's a grouch. No. Why are you grouchy? Two words. Gary Gulper. That's odd. He seems like such a genuine guy. Don't let him fool you. He's the character behind that insidious weather-controlling thingamajig. Weather-controlling hoochamalachit? It's a device that controls the weather. Uh, sounds cool. No, controlling the weather is my job. But those meddlers are in for a surprise. I magically sealed the vault door to the device. Now they can't even get to it. That'll teach them. Do you have anything to do with all this bad weather around here? Absolutely. I still reign over the rain. <laughs> At least for the time being. So why are you clouding up rock bottom? To teach Gary Gulper a lesson. He's trying to steal my job. How? By building that weather-controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my domain. I'm not giving it up without a fight. But I need to get out of here, and the buses won't run until the weather clears up. Well, the weather won't clear up until that weather controlling device is destroyed. Maybe I can help you. Anything to get the weather back no. to normal here. Would you really help me? No, of course. No problem. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a magic wand that will let you into the weather control vault in W-S-E-A. You go in there and sabotage the machine, and then I'll clear the weather right up. Piece of cake! I'd go myself, but that secretary won't even let me in the lobby anymore. But how do I sabotage the machine? Something about you tells me you're pretty good at breaking things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Great! So, where's the magic wand? <laughs> oh, here you go. Don't lose it. It's very valuable. Okay, thanks, Marlin. No, thank you. You've saved me from the unemployment line. I'm back. I noticed. Say, I like that slot machine you have out front. Yes. I find it functions well as a symbol of the risk and probability that we all deal with in our everyday lives. Yeah, pretty light. That too. Marlin, I gotta go. I'll be back. I'll be here. Getting in there. So mm. Abracadabra, Alakazur. My name is SpongeBob. Now open that door. Wow, this must be the weather controlling thingamajig. Maybe if I just fiddle with the controls. Uh-oh. 
I think we're running out of gas. Hey, you got gas? And... Yep, out of gas. <laughs> oh, no. There's a gas station down that way across from the diner. Oh, boy, I'm starving. <laughs> I didn't see any food over there. No, you moron. That way? Hmm. That's funny. I love those little umbrellas. Well, Patrick, looks like we're just not meant to get to Neptune's paradise. Maybe we should just go home. What? Who are you? What have you done with SpongeBob? What are you talking about, Patrick? The SpongeBob I know is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit, ever! You're right, Patrick. Why should I let these little setbacks get me down? Together, we can accomplish anything! Exactly! And I'll help you think of something as soon as I finish my sandwich. Oh, hey! That reminds me. I saw Sandy working on a rocket last week. Maybe we could use it to get to Neptune's paradise. That's a great idea! Let's get over there and ask her. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me finish this sandwich, and I'll catch up with you. But we're a team! Partners! Deodorant in the face of indisposable odds, am I right? Pepperoni! Spicy. Okay. Well, I'll just meet up with you later, then. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah, anything you say, SpongeBob. Hello again, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob! Patrick, how's that grub? Grubby. I guess that's a good thing. You could say that again. <sighs> Patrick, I'll be back. I'll meet you at Sandy's when it finished here. Hi. Nice place you got here. Yep. I've been here coming up on 25 years. Best grilled cheese in town. You must be old. You're a charmer, aren't you? Say. Do you happen to know a land squirrel named Sandy? Know her? I just got off the phone with her. She ordered her usual. Really? Well, I have to talk to her. You want me to deliver it for you? Ah, that's so sweet. Thank you, fella. She's at Jellyfish Fields. She says she needed a recharge and a slab of baby back ribs would do the trick. Ugh, Texas food. Well, here's the order. Be sure to get it to her right quick. I don't want any complaints. You might have a future here. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything to worry about. SpongeBob is on the case. Hi, I've returned. Good to see you again. What's the special today? Greasy white thing with a bit of darkish meat on the side. Save us every day. I think I just lost my appetite. Sorry, kiddo. We're not responsible for any lost or stolen items around here. Well, I should be going. See you around. Come back anytime.
look at all these jellyfish. I better try not to get stung by any of them. chasing jellyfish. I wonder where my baby back ribs are. Hey, Sandy, do you still have that rocket parked outside your house? Why, I sure do, SpongeBob. Does it work? What a coinky dinky I was working on her just the other day. All I need to do is tighten some hoses and check some gauges and she should be fit to launch. What, you wanna go for a ride? Actually, I need to get to Neptune's paradise. Hi -ya! And I was thinking... Yes? That maybe you could give me and Patrick a ride there in your rocket. Why, I'd be tickled to, SpongeBob. I haven't been to Neptune's Paradise in ages. Oh, well, Hi I only have two passes, and I already told Patrick he could go. That's okay, partner. I got a pair of passes in the mail the other day. I was going to throw them out, but luckily I haven't gotten around to it yet. Huh. These passes seem to be pretty easy to come by. So tell you what, as soon as I get my ribs, I'll head back to my house and fix up that rocket to go. Lickety split. You got yourself a deal. Let's go. I gotta go, Sandy. I'll catch you Hi, later. No problem, SpongeBob. I'll see you on the flip flop. Hey, Sandy. Here's your ugh, baby back ribs. Thanks, partner. I'll go get working on that rocket. Meet me there once you get your water helmet. like some sort of videotape. Stop! There's a sea snake in my water helmet! I better find some way to charm him out of there! On the TV. Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week we got a whole bunch of specials that will blow your mind, man. Really choice stuff. I'm serious. Sniff this. We just got these babies in this week. Dream glasses. All you need to do is be near a buddy of yours who's sleeping, put on these glasses, and you'll actually enter your buddy's dream. Man, you could really freak him or her out. I mean, like, whoa. And this week only, dream glasses are free. You heard it right. I'm nuts. Skiddly bop, look at these. Skull candles. They're just like a regular candle, except they're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. So come on down to Sardine Sundries, 174 Barnacle Road. We never close because time is an illusion. Dig it. He's sleeping like a log. There's no way I'm going to be able to wake him up. It's weird. Hello there, life traveler. How has your journey been? Okay, I guess. I almost tripped on a rock outside, and the stuff on the walls is making me a little dizzy, but I'm okay. No, no. I mean your journey through life. How has that been treating you? Oh, well, I'm trying to get to Neptune's paradise, and I'm not having much luck so far. In fact, I'm pretty much right back where I started. Your feet might go in circles, but your mind soars with the eagles. Wow, 
You have a really intense aura. It's yellow. Want me to read the bumps on your head? No, not really. So what kind of store is this? We enhance life. We give your brain a car in which it can speed through the highways of the universe music. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Maybe you can help me. I have a friend who's sleeping like a rock. He won't get up and I need to borrow his clarinet. Scott, Give anything will do the trick? Sure, man, sure. What you need are dream glasses. Dream glasses? Yeah, put them on when you're near someone who's sleeping and you can see into their dream. But what's even weirder is that they can see you. I don't quite know how they work, actually. Wow! So I could use dream glasses to get into someone's dream and ask to borrow his clarinet. <laughs> hey, man. Whatever sizzles your whistle. So do you want a pair? Yeah! Uh, but I don't have any money. Money? You insult me. We don't even accept money. We are here to serve all on the road of life in their quest for happiness or fun parks. Hmm. Well, then how do you stay in business? Trust fund. So you want some dream glasses? Go ahead and grab them. I think there's only one pair left. It's at the other end of the store. Thanks. The far out. I've always wondered, what exactly is a freak out anyway? Well, see, it's like this. Yes? You go to a place where there's a lot of other people. Yes, yes. And then you all start dancing around a big campfire. Yes, yes, yes. And you open your eyes really wide and say stuff like, Man, you don't even have to talk. I can hear you think. Okay. And then you freak out. It's really great. Sounds kind of boring. Yeah, I guess you just got to be there. I suppose. Well, I'm going to go. Nice talking to you. Anytime, man. I like you. You may be square, but you're no square, dig? That calendar needs to be updated. Who are the Doobie Brothers? <sighs> Whoa. Hey, now I know I've seen you before. Oh, hello, stranger. Nice to meet you. Why are you pretending to have never met me? I just saw you at the bus stop in Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom? No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've never even been to Rock Bottom. I'm pretty sure it was you. You even sound the same. People say I resemble a famous movie star. Perhaps that is what's confusing you. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry, stranger. I just can't help you. What are you doing here, anyway? This place sells the best hacky sacks. I need to get one. Yeah! To replace that Kelpsy can you were kicking in rock bottom, right? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, forget it. Forgotten. Well, I have to go. But I've got my eye on you, Buster. Ooh, how will I ever get to sleep again? Is over at the right brain. Oh, well, I'll just get on over there. No, 
no, no, don't bother. I'm covering right brain tonight. Just give me the clarinet and I'll head over. You stay here and dance. Dance like you've never danced before. Yes, yes, of course, I will dance. I will dance like the wind. Good, knock him dead. If I could just have that clarinet now. Yeah, sure, here it is. Remember to clean the reed. Oh, I don't need to do that. Right, great, okay, will do. Later, Squidward. Bye, Squidward. Great, now I can use this clarinet to get that sea snake out of my water helmet. Wow, I'm glad I'm back to being me. Being Squidward is hard work. without my water helmet. I can't breathe air, you know. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Hi there, Sandy. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little square dude. It's going pretty good, except I can't find my oxygen tanks. Why do you need oxygen tanks? Because that's what my rocket runs on, silly. I switched it over to oxygen fuel a few weeks ago. It's cleaner. Maybe I can help you find those tanks. That'd be great. I've been looking all day. Darn near turned this whole place upside down. I know they're somewhere in my dome. I just don't know where. I'll find them and bring them back. Don't you worry, Sandy. Great. Thanks, SpongeBob. Then we can get going to Neptunes. I finally found you! what I've been up to, Sandy. Try me. hi -ya! Well, first there was a sea snake in my water helmet. Ooh, I hate those little buggers. So, I had to get Squidward's clarinet to charm it out. Ooh, great idea. But I couldn't wake him up. hi -ya! So, I watched TV. Uh, really? Yeah, so I went to see this strange guy who wore a bandana, and he gave me a pair of dream glasses that I used to get into Squidward's dream. I just... Sure, SpongeBob. And in his dream, I was him. But he was him also. Oh, it was weird. Are you sure you've been getting enough sleep, Strange Bob? I gotta go, Sandy. I'll be back. Okay, little shaver. Look at that chair. It rocks. I think Sandy made that phone herself. She's very handy. Hiya! Sandy, I found the oxygen tanks. Woo-wee! I knew you could do it, my little wrangler. Now let's get our rears in gear and hop along to Neptune's paradise. Hey, SpongeBob, what you doing? Gee, Patrick, it's about time you showed up. I'm helping Sandy fill up the rocket with oxygen fuel. Oxygen fuel? SpongeBob taking care of that now. Uh, I set a new record down at the diner for the most sandwiches ever eaten. That's great, Patrick. Let's get on board while the rocket finishes fueling up. Oh, I don't feel too good. Check. Last servers. Check. Okay, cowboys. Safety belts. Put on your 
safety belts. Aye, aye, Captain. Safety belt secure. You see that switch there? Turns on the headlights. Are we there yet? And that switch are there, there yet? the horn. And this gauge shows how deep are we are. Are we there yet? And these switches here are for the ejection. Are we there yet? Don't touch those. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. And the most important gauge of all. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Fuel. Spot are we there yet? What happened to all of our oxygen? Hold on to your britches. It's gonna be a bumpy landing. <laughs> that junk food earlier today? Oh! I gotta go find the bathroom! Sandy, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. Go get these oxygen tanks filled with oxygen springs. It's just up the road. Sandy, is the rocket broken? Well, it's damaged, but it don't look like nothing I can't handle. I'm pretty sure I can fix it, given the time. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for that oxygen place. Where did you say it was again? It's just up the road. You can't miss it. How do I collect oxygen again? Well, the oxygen comes out of these geysers in the ground. So, you just use the empty tanks on the mouth of one of these geysers, and it'll suck up the air like a vacuum. Okay, if you say so. I say so. Now get moving. I gotta go, Sandy, but I'll be back. See you around, partner. I have to put a quarter in the slot in order to use this phone. It's empty! Sublime Seafoods, 555-4444. Well, that seems easy enough to remember. I have to speak through the intercom to get this gate to open. Hello, welcome to Oxygen Springs Resort and Spa. Our refreshing fountains of air rejuvenate and revitalize. How may I help you? Hi, I just wanted to use your oxygen thingies for a minute. Why, you would be more than welcome to. Unfortunately, you don't seem to meet our dress code. We require jackets, you see. Jackets? Isn't everybody in there wearing swimsuits? Well, yes, they are. But before they're allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Just don't think about it too much. And please come back once you've fulfilled our simple dress requirements. Oh, tartar sauce. But I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have one. Great. I'm happy for you. So, uh, can I come in? I'm not sure what part of jacket required you don't understand. The required part. Okay, well that means you need to be wearing a jacket to come inside. Now that's a pretty narrow interpretation, don't you think? Look buddy, I may be just a camera, but I wasn't born yesterday. No, oh, come on camera, it's me, your old pal Spongebob. Should that name mean something to me? Because it doesn't. Please come back when you get a jacket, thank you. Oh, tartar sauce. I guess I better be going. It's been a pleasure recording you. What is this? Someone My golden looks coconuts. very angry. 
Sacre bleu, why can't we all just get along? Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Well, howdy, SpongeBob. So, where do I go to get this oxygen again? <laughs> At Oxygen Springs, silly. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but look around. I'm sure you'll find it. Oxygen Springs. Well, okay. I guess I better get going. Great. With any luck, I'll have this baby repaired by the time you're done. Sandy, they won't let me into Oxygen Springs. They said I don't meet the dress code. But you're wearing a tie. They said I need a jacket. Hmm. My old friend Cowfish Craig might have one you can borrow. He lives in Waverly Hills. Try checking with him. Okay. Thanks, Sandy. I don't think I'm heavy enough to activate this gate. I turned on some water somewhere. Oh boy, I feel bloated. All that water may be extra heavy. Hmm, looks like the gate got jammed open. Those houses look like they cost a lot of money. Oh, now, come on. There has to be a better use for money than My that. My golden coconuts. Hi. How are you doing on this fine day? Not good. I'm angry. Why are you angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. Yeah, gold. And it's all mine, you hear? You can't have it. Whoa, whoa, I don't want it. Why are you so upset? I'm sorry for yelling. It's just that no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig, not only does he make the whole neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Do you have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer than a platinum plum? Not funny. Anyway, now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. Maybe I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back, and I'll give you a king's ransom. A king's ransom, huh? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll give it a try. Why would Cowfish Craig take one of your coconuts? Search me. He's probably angry at us for trying to buy out his land. But his shack is an eyesore. It's keeping all of our property values down. Well, he has as much right to live here as you do. Actually, he has more. He was here first. Waverly Hills was built around him. Well, there you go. That doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Do you know where I could get a jacket? They won't let me into Oxygen Springs without one. I don't have any to lend you. Maybe you could get one from Sublime Seafoods. They have lots of extras. Well, I gotta go. Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. Sheesh. That shack looks a little out of place here. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. What's your name? Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! Uh -huh. You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. May I call you Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. An urchin by any other name would still sting like crazy if he sat on it. Ouch! 
I was curious, yeah. Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get caught up in all them our fancy hooplas. Before you know it, all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, actually, a heated pool would rock. I spoke with your neighbor. Ah. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about something. Well, um, do you still have it? He'd really like it back. I ain't giving it back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What are you using it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What if I find you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish, sir. Say, do you have any yeah. idea where I could find a jacket? I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephones and their fancy shoes and their intranet. Ugh, do yourself a favor. Don't bother. Well, actually, I really need to go there. It's the only place I can get oxygen to refuel my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes I go down to Sublime Seafoods and they'll lend me a jacket because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't work. They always take it back when you're done eating. Hmm. Maybe they'd let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could be, son. Could be. But I doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. I think he's watching the good, the bad, and the orca. Wow, a golden coconut. Bet I could swap it with a normal coconut. Yeah. Hello, I Howdy, partner. Well, get along. Suddenly, I have the urge to go back to bed. Well, I gotta go! Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. I got your golden coconut back! Oh, my precious golden coconut! My precious, my precious. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Let me give you your reward. Here you are. A quarter? Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. Sublime Seafoods. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located at the top of a quaint hill that rises from the kelp forest. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. I'm not a madam. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, mademoiselle. How silly of me. Try again. Oh, my goodness. A thousand apologies. 
sir? You got it! Well, sir, we are very easy to find. We are located just south of Waverly Hills. Great, thanks! Adieu, sir. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think. Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Invitation? To what? Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Oh, really? What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy, I expect. <laughs> catchy. Seafood. Get it? No. Move along. Look, I really need to get in there. It's extremely important. Well, you can't. Now shove off. Don't make me come out there. They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be your best friend. Okay, that does it. I'm coming out. Get ready to say hello to my little friend. Uh-oh. Now, why are you making such a commotion? You're the bouncer. I thought we had established that already. You sure there's not a couple more of you in there? What is this twaddle? The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Oh, all right. Now get moving. Bye. The mezzanine. Fine shops and restaurants. Great. <laughs> Not much business today, huh? Nah, but it should pick up later. Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh, can I have it? Well, I can't just give it to you. I was instructed to hold a little trivia contest and give the invitation to the winner. Where exactly is Sublime Seafoods anyway? It's in a sunken ship rising out of the kelp forest right behind us. It's quite breathtaking. You can see it from those binoculars at Lookout Point. Oh, cool. Sounds fancy. Oh, it is. I have to be frank. You don't look like Sublime Seafoods material, but I like you just the same. Great. A contest? That sounds like fun. What do I have to do? You have to tell me what Sublime Seafoods' new slogan is. By the way, I like your shoes. How am I gonna find out the slogan? Well, that's for you to figure out. Well, I gotta go. The bathroom's that away. <laughs> that's my little joke. That's the kelp forest. I can barely see a restaurant in the distance. Ooh, I can see Sublime Seafoods from here. Sublime Seafoods tastes like chicken. Nice slogan. Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Now get moving. Well, I've got to go. <laughs> Hi again. Now get well. I know the slogan. Okay. What is it? Sublime seafoods. Tastes like chicken. You win. Here is your invitation. Use it in good health. Great, thanks! <laughs> Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Now get moving. Well, I've got to go. <laughs> good evening, my dear sir. Here's my invitation for the night's festivities. Excellent! This is all in order. Enjoy yourself. Hi, 
This sure is a pretty restaurant. Hey, yes it is. It is a high-class establishment. And at the risk of sounding rude, you look a little out of your element. Well, I'm really only here to ask if I can borrow a jacket. Hey, you most certainly cannot. Our suits are reserved for patrons who, for some reason or another, have forgotten to bring their own jackets. We cannot go around willy-nilly giving out jackets to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who comes in here. But my name's SpongeBob. Yes, it most certainly is. I'm sorry, uh, uh, SpongeBob, but I cannot help you. SpongeBob SquarePants, table for one, please. I have an invitation. Uh, Mr. SquarePants, I see you did not bring a jacket. Please, get one from Lisa, our go check girl. Uh, okay. I gotta go. Catch you later. Adieu. Look at all those jackets. Hi, I'm supposed to get a jacket from you. Okay, here you go. Please don't forget to return it when you are done eating. Gotcha. Thanks. Wow. Nice threads. Sir, if you wish to be seated, you must speak with me first. Oops. Sorry. Okay. I got me a jacket. Excellent. We have a table for you all the way in the back up the stairs. Please enjoy your uh, meal. Eh, uh, why, uh, thank you. I don't want to do that. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Sublime Seafood. Would you like to hear the specials, or are you ready to order? Could you tell me about the specials? Why, of course. We have a kelp salad with basil vinaigrette dressing. The kelp is grown in our very own simulated organic forest. And the vinaigrette is aged 400 years in oak barrels from the Titanic. It is very mild, very sweet, and très delicious. Are there any other specials? We also have the sand cake tartar. The sand cakes are firmly packed by Finn and are 100% shell-free. That comes with a delicate sea grape leaf tea, which is spiced and sharp. Quite delectable. I'm ready to order. What can I get you? I'll have a Krabby Patty. What? Krabby Patty? Well, I never get out. You must be from Bikini Bottom or some equally despicable place. Get out of this restaurant immediately. In fact, I shall remove you myself. Uh-oh, now I've done it. Oh, poor SpongeBob. In deep water again. But they have forgot to remove his jacket. Maybe some good will come of this after all. Yes, I see. And you have a jacket as well. Excellent. Please proceed inside and have a relaxing oxygen bath. Great! Thanks! Patrick, how did he get in here? Patrick, what are you doing here? I'm relaxing. Oxygen bath is sweet. 
but how did you get in here? I've been running around trying to find a jacket just so they'd let me in. Where's your jacket? Jacket? Nobody said anything to me about a jacket. But the camera at the gate, didn't it say anything to you about a dress code? But I didn't come through a gate. I just climbed over some coral. I really needed to use the bathroom. Oh, tartar sauce. Well, hurry up and get out. I gotta get oxygen from this geyser. I can't get out. I'm not wearing any pants. Well, how'd you get in here then? I don't remember. Well, where are your pants? They're in the bathroom, I think. Can you get them for me? All right, fine. I gotta go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. That geyser is occupied. That geyser is occupied. Wow, look at that. Ah, that's pretty funny. It looks like some sort of videotape. Ooh, a dirty drain. That looks like a towel rack. Hey, it's you. Uh, hello, sir. May I get you a towel? No, but you can tell me what you're doing here. Are you sure you do not need a towel? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, yes, I, I do not need a towel. I beg you to reconsider. Everyone should have a towel. I'm a sponge. I practically am a towel. Hey, it's your life. I'm just trying to help us all. Look, the jig is up. I've been seeing you everywhere. Now, what's the story, Buster? Me? You've been seeing me everywhere? Like where? Well, first I saw you at the Krusty Krab. You made me fix you a Krabby Patty. Then I saw you at the bus stop. You were kicking a can in the air. Then I saw you at Sardines. What do you think about that? I think you've gone quite mad. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Petro. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. Wait a second, who was that? That was my twin brother, Petro. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Ryan. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Ryan. And that? That's another twin brother, Ryan. How many twin brothers do you have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. 4,132, more or less. Well, that explains it. Explains what? Never mind. Ha! Ah. You mistook my twin brothers for me? You must not have very good eyesight. What are you talking about? You all look exactly alike! Yeah, but I'm holding a mop. Duh. Just walk away, SpongeBob. Just walk away. Yeah. Ah. What are you- Yeah. Just Yeah. Okay, Patrick, here are your pants. Whoa, whoopee! Thanks, SpongeBob. Uh, could you turn around for a moment? I don't want you to see me naked. Okay, here I go. Okay, thanks, SpongeBob. You didn't peek, did you? Yeah, of course not. Now, I just gotta fill these oxygen tanks and we can get going. Whoopee! Ah, nothing like the smell of oxygen in the evening. All right, the oxygen tanks are filled. Time to get out of here. All right, Sandy, we got the oxygen tanks filled. Yeah, and I'm all clean now, too. Great. Let's get out of here before we're too late. Excellent! Huh. Yippee! <laughs> Whoops! Time to put on your safety belt! By the power of the Anyone want to dance? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! Looks much fun! Free runs! Patrick! We finally made it to Neptune's paradise! Yeah! I can hardly wait! We're gonna be the first in line! Hmm. 
Doesn't seem like it's very crowded. Sorry, guys. Where's everybody? Park's closed. Huh? But we have special tickets to get into the park, see? Yeah! See? Those tickets are for next week, see? This week, we're having a private party for somebody named... Let's see here... Spring Boob Squire Pin. Psst! That's SpongeBob Square Pants! Oh, I need SpongeBob Square Pants! That's me! Surprise! Hi there, SpongeBob! Congratulations, Spongy uh, Blogger. Hey, wait for me! To the bathroom! Where's the garden candy? Quiet, Tentacles. They're after me, boy! Whoa! Rain her in, big fella! Whoa! This is more fun than eating! Look! Uh, Broncos! This roller coaster reminds me of the rodeos back home! your face. You know how stupid you look. Look alive, SpongeBob! <laughs> this is the bestest day ever! Woo-hee! Something that is quite. We all are such good friends. I'll see you at work tomorrow. Ooh.